Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Board Game Arena gameplay. Hello everyone that's already here. Uh, yeah, today we are indeed playing Obsession. I've Not Arena yet, because I haven't actually won a game, so I'm not high enough ranked. But I've played two games now in turn-based, and I understand the rules. I made some pretty basic mistakes in the first two games. So we'll see how we do today. Not sure what we're going to start with though, um, might just queue for a couple of games and see what we hit. Ark Nova first, Ark Nova can maybe be second, oh congratulations Bob, the important butler. Those are some very nice results. Hmm. They're starting with a small dog. Jitterbug is... Like, I rate quite highly, but I also rate Tool Guide really, really highly as well. I think it's taking Jitterbug away is like not not that bad at all, so I don't mind doing it. Because I, I definitely want Tool Guide for my big dog here. And I'm quite happy to deny Jitterbug at the same time and not lose anything. <laughs> Unfortunate, JD. I think... Federation, I'm comfortable playing it live, but I think next week is probably most likely because I'm already playing Obsession for the first time on this stream. That's a shame. I'd really love to get the walk and the two scraps. Uh, this is discard a bone card. I don't really want to do that, but the, the two scraps are <laughs> like really good though, so I might. Like two scraps and dry bits to feed, then the only problem is that I lose the bone, but I don't mind taking away this uh this trait from the opponent as well. But walks are insanely good for us. Walks are five points each now. I think we'll do arc second and then Maybe Obsession after us all or something. That's like a rough order of things. They do take the walk, of course. Oh yeah, I forgot it. Because it's Arena, it's hidden. So I should be trying to like keep track of what they have, but I have no idea, to be honest. And they keep revealing good stuff. Like I do need more dogs, but I also... like Double Scrap is just really, really good. I'm going to take it. Also start collecting some favourites slash denying favourites away from this one. Of course they get the opportunity to get another two dogs. Played Wingspan last week. Wingspan's probably more of a first game of the stream. Oh that's that's a like a really interesting move. They're leaving me a dog and the fetch ball. Like, I'm almost certainly going here. We can, like, that dog is pretty fed already. And the question is, is this worth, worth a fetch ball? But I don't think it is. Oh, wow. Well, tons of dogs. What have we got? Dry bits. You can try to snipe me in Ark Nova. <laughs> to be fair, I'd be I'd be much more confident beating you in It's a Wonderful World. Hmm. 
they're already going to have like a kind of hard time feeding everyone. I did not see what got taken. Oh, can, can training. Okay. I don't think they have two training cards. Oh, they're tucking them already. Wow. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Escape artist. Because they already have trouble feeding their, like all their dogs. Then I just take escape artist and use the fetch ball on Og or... We got the middle and use the fetch ball. I can't use landlord at all. Maybe we just go in the middle. Fetch ball and escape artist for sure. And I guess we keep the train. Yeah, no need to tuck the training card just yet. I did block Brian because he was like lower rated in Ark Nova than his current level suggests, but I guess that's not really true anymore. I should probably unread them. Nothing really amazing here. Like these little dogs are actually kind of negative points for the opponent because they can tuck any food for th yeah, three points each. They actually do get heal, okay. That's fine. Uh, I'm not sure it's really worth... I guess if we get a second training card straight away, I'll probably exchange it. Yeah, but the... Oh, yeah, okay. They take another dog. They still have two unfed. We want the fetch ball, so the question is, do we take this dog or leave it? Taking it means we can take another trait in the future, which I quite like. I'm going to assume these are like three favorite items. Should I, Maybe I should be valuing the frisbee a bit more. Like frisbee or a small dog. The small dog is only worth one. And I guess like the, the good small traits are gone already. Are there actually any left? We'll just hang on to this. What we really need is uh, some of these war cards to, to appear. And some medium traits would be nice. I would say we're currently ahead, but only because two dogs are unfed and they're not going to be unfed for very long. They're actually getting so much food. Wild food looks nice, but I guess, yeah. They do have an advantage getting one more item than us every round. Hopefully they reveal something good in the middle. Okay, that's good. Oh, that's good. I rate the tricks early, but I feel it's a bit too late for the tricks right now. And oh, yeah, don't have one. There's only 17 cards left. We have five dogs now. We just we just need some traits and some walks. Uh, they're going to get so many more favorite items. Yeah. Possibly some Nidavilla, yeah. <laughs> Just not Arena for sure. 
teacher's pet is training cards. Okay, glad that we kept the training card then. Yeah, these training these are not worth going for. Um, adoption though. Let's tuck a dog house for four. The problem is we don't have any food left over. So I kind of like just going for this. Okay, now, now we actually do have one food left over. I don't think they'd take two adoptions though. Uh, so we, we only actually have one turn left. So with one wild food, can we actually Maybe if we, if we get another adoption, potentially. This one would actually be worth quite a lot if they don't take it. Three victory points. Per medium dog, we have three, so nine. Ball is worth some to us. Training... Two trainings are, training cards are three VPs each. Two training and a scrap fetch for the adoption, something like that. Can't do too much else really. Uh, are you better? No. Are you better? No, this one is better. Not sure that we have enough. They did start with second player. Oh, they, have a, they have so many cards here. They started with second player and we kind of had to waste a couple of early cards. Like threw away Jitterbug. We had tour guide and no, and absolutely no walk showed up. There was only one for the whole game. Yeah, I, I would prefer base knit, knitter as well. We don't actually have that many points because there are no walks here. There's some decent flat points, I guess, but also like not many favorite. Dude, what? Okay, I think we're getting smashed by like 20 points. What the hell? Like, I understand they were getting an extra card than us for uh, four or five rounds, but what the heck? I guess one thing I'm not used to is the hidden cards, but... I don't... I don't particularly know what moves I could have done differently to actually get within 20 points. It felt like all the moves were kind of optimum for my turns there. Maybe focusing a bit too much on food. Like they, they actually only had four dogs and they just focused on these three traits and maximizing them. So maybe just wrong strategically. Like taking tool guide first, but I only saw one walk. That's the problem. There's there's another. Oh, they they must be. They were four hundred rated, so I think they're in like the top ten. I would say. Anyway, we'll give for arc. Yeah, that's them. Okay, number five. Okay, pretty decent. 
if if you're trying to snipe me in arc with uh with Brian's account, you know it's not gonna work. <laughs> Okay, well, this is interesting. We are second player. I don't really like what I'm seeing here. We're definitely keeping the croc because of double reptiles. I think we're like going all, all the reptiles here. This one is the most unplayable, but I'm, it fits two of the goals and I'm happy saving it for later. This one is fairly playable. Question is like, are we going croc first? And how do we do that? The only way croc is playable is if we start down here, and I really, really hate that. So we might just have to find another playable animal early, start with hand size uni or something. And I think because of that, we just want a really quick round. I don't feel like keeping any of these sponsors particularly. Maybe we, maybe we still break five, but we keep one of these. I guess expert in small could be useful. No, it's not a particularly great hand. I'm also considering the monkey path. Like, I could do double partner zoo. I don't know that that it does that much. Like, upgrading build, sure, to play the croc, but, like, the croc is not playable first round anyway. So I think I either need to cause the break before either of us play animals, or I need to find an animal in the display, but I, I'd rather just lean towards causing the break before either of us play animals. Uh, looks like they're going to snap up federal grants as well, most likely. And they're, they're just, this display is empty for us. Yeah, so so the thing is, if they do snap federal grants, we have to cause the break before they can play it. They're going to, like, build... Build cards. Oh, we might actually be able to... No, we can't cause the break because they're first player. Partner zoo first. Yeah, you, taking Europe right now makes sense. Uh, maybe I should just make my intentions known. Now the thing is, if we're going to break, then I kind of do want association higher, so I'll just start with hand size. At least this way, if they if they snap and we cause the break, then they're discarding and we're not really diverse. Okay, yeah, they are going for an early upgrade, so let's just cause this break. We need extra money. We need like build upgraded. We want other things. Interested to see if they do still snap it because if they don't then we just snap federal grants Yeah, they do get to play an animal though. Yeah A single badger gives them a like not that much more income. It does give them Europe too though. That's the main thing I think I am we're still gonna snap this up So they are going to get most likely a second work. Oh my god. That's ridiculous. That's the easiest snap of their life. Two of these cards are looking really nice. I think first we have to X out animals to get out of the way. Then we look at it. Like, I'm fine with a longer second round here, but 
it benefits them a lot more because they're going to get a second worker. Oh my god. I think we do have to start with the with the Australia Partner Zoo and then what we're looking at building like one, two. It's very hard to get down here. It looks rough, but I I would not say it's over just yet. Yeah, build is certainly the first upgrade. So ideally I would like to get the rep here to upgrade probably animals. I don't really know how we're going to build because we also need the partner zoo. It's like it might just be starting up here. And what do they take? They do take worker. I mean it's first build level 2 is kind of nice but They've already played an animal and built. So it, it's not like we're still in the first round here. We're going to need 20 money, so... Get there, we need Oz. I I actually do agree with that. I think them snapping talented talented communicator would have been pretty good. We can build a size one. I don't know that I particularly want to right now. Just gotta build a size three there with a second build action. But we should have time this round. Brian would have blundered. What do you mean blundered? Blundered what? Snapping that, especially with Waza Large in, in display range is pretty nice. Still don't think it's over because we have like very good long-term five, like we already have four reptiles done. With this double snap, we can potentially snap up one, two. Uh, we're about to play Federal Grants, which is always nice. We have a like Hypnosis saved for later. Federal Grants makes this playable actually soon when we upgrade animals. Federal Grants will help bridge the income gap. Uh, they upgraded cards, okay. The display is looking really good. I wonder what they're going to snap. Uh, the thing is I need to build again. So I do cards, they do cards, they we do build, they do associate, we do animals. That seems fine. Well, I think rep reptile breeding is number one priority because it gives us a project next round. Uh, there was 1730 in Arena, so I'm going to guess, okay, a bit lower than I thought. They're, they're, they're fairly high in Arena. My plan is, this is first priority, but with double snapping here, we can take Communicator and maybe basic research or something. Waza Large, potentially, Migration as well. Uh, Thorny Devil as well, actually. Maybe just these two. Mm, basic research not looking great because we only have like Australia reptiles right now and like we're only building reptiles for a little while. I guess shoe bill we could play from display. Uh, they could cause the break but I'm fairly sure they want hand size uni first so we have time. They should recognize this is a croc now.
Mm, sometimes I do forget about the existence of reptile houses. <laughs> the, I mean, the main issue is that we need it to touch water and we need the partner zoo anyway, so doesn't quite work out. I think this is fine. Anyway, it's actually looking a lot better, like our income's about to be ahead. We're snapping up some good cars. We've got our own, bre own breeding program. We can cause the break next move. Replenish. Uh, I think basic research is probably the call. Thorny Devil, we might be able to get later. I think we get rid of expert in small animals. Yeah, Reptile House can still come later, but I don't know that we... I guess it's always going to be good value with these guys. And that one fitting in for free if we get a break. Okay, that works for me. Yeah, there is a beautiful reptile house spot. Yeah, goodbye. So upgrade number one is sponsors. Upgrade number two, probably animals. And I like, like as much as I do like snapping, may, maybe it's worth snapping this. Are they going to draw it? Mm. I think money on this map, on on this map in particular, money is like super important. I think we, we need a lot of cash. I found on outdoor areas in particular, money is really hard to come by. Otherwise, I probably would take snapping here. Anyway, we, we definitely don't need second worker with this guy coming out. Animals I'm fine with, we're about to get our upgrade anyway. Uh, actually, no, you know what, we can, we can do cards first. Because we'll be able to upgrade animals before we play animals anyway. Now the question is, do they... Oh, petting suit. Yeah, that's the main thing. There's there's no money on the floor and you like kind of want to build a bit early. You want to play big animals. So money is really tight most of the time. That's that's a very odd placement. I don't know the reason. They, they're telling me that they're not playing a pelican by placing there. I guess it's a fair assumption to make anyway. And they haven't spent a worker this round. They're, I'd say they're going for Europe 4 right now. Which is pretty annoying. It gets them close to this uni. Oh, that's that's annoying. <laughs> that's very sneaky as well. Size 4. That So he's probably telling me that it's going to be released as well. I don't think we can give any of these cards. But pilfering 10 is like... So bad for us right now. Get some two Asia. Petting Zoo did expect. If they're going to release that. I... Oh no, they, they needed us to touch water. So that. But they needed the rep. They, they don't really need the rep. They don't need a third worker immediately. Very peculiar. It's kind of interesting for two more tags. But we already have like the next three animals, so I'd rather draw and get more upside. Hopefully. Okay. That was that was worth it. Uh no, we don't, we we don't have time to play useless sponsors. Oh my god! It's 
so I think they're not releasing it, they just needed it to touch water, which is why it's a size 2 instead of size 1, because they wanted the petting zoo to touch rep. That is a nice kiosk. Reptile house makes sense for sure, like perfect money, pay 10, play these two. Um, what do we want to grab first? We want to grab Asia, I guess. Well, I think Asia long term makes more sense. We're not necessarily necessarily limited to two partner zoos because we do have a hypnosis here. Uh, next three moves look pretty set. Build Reptile House. Well, I guess they're, they're probably looking to cause the break. Our income's higher, but their points are higher. We're on our way to five Reptiles, though. We're also on our way to five Asia. I think we should hit this fairly easily. They take money. Uh, low Mountain Range is gone, yes. Okay, so I know I can put it here. The card draw is probably wasted. I assume they want to cause the break right now. Anyway, I, we're fine discarding the leopard. Also fine moving the croc, I guess. Get in. Leopard can go and we, we want to play these two. I guess we want we just want to play all of them. Tapir can probably go. Right. Okay. Means we can start by constricting their build, which I quite like. Constricting build and animal seems nice actually. Yeah, I think this just makes sense. Uh, thinking about it, Tapir is actually pretty good because it gives us another CP to get from 3 to 8. But it's just too hard to play like everything right now. Yeah, we're going to start with... They have an upgraded association. That's that's annoying. Uh, we can oh we can oh we can hypnotize them. No, we can't because we're about to. No, we're not about to overtake them. we all right. So we need to go like one, two, then three. Hypnotize them to get reptiles five. Take a. Don't need to take a worker, I think. This guy could be interesting. Could take we well, could definitely take snapping and get him. Yeah, I I like the hypnosis right now. Could definitely save it for later, but I feel like just play this, get X tokens from here, break nine, honestly. Take take snapping. Oh, that that's an intro now. Nah, I think snapping's too important to not take here. Uni is really good for them. I guess they are very close to Asia four. Mm. And if I'm snapping up this guy, I think we actually put hypnosis guy in this size too. Hypnosis guy. Yeah, now now we get rid of it. Get out. <laughs> that that is pretty great actually as well. Yeah, how much do we care about the uni? I could probably play this from range next uh 
next turn. Not next turn, I mean next round. Like if I break nine, we could definitely snap it up as well next round. Uh, uh, X token, like, I can use this to play basic research. Wait, 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 wait. I can use this to play basic research and get the uni. And the X tokens are kind of useless for them right now. They have five. But it means we can't cause the break. Maybe that's worth. Yeah, okay. I'm down with that. We're not very diverse, but neither are they. I still like it more than aquatic. Like a single bear icon would fix it. Oh, that's nice. As much as I do like sponsorship reptiles here, we have to break five. Like just for the just for the money at least. Oh, we can still constrict them. Yeah, I like breaking five here. I'll I'll draw this for later because it's still a minimum minimum five point card, and lots of money. There'll probably be two more breaks. Ugh. I'll have it. It's fine. Still like our position a lot. We really need just, just to focus on getting up to 5 Asia now, because they're about to support for Europe. That's good. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just out of range. Well, don't draw anything from here. I get I like I guess they're gonna spend two X tokens to snap up. This is not snappable though. I need other things. Like, that would have been disastrous to leave them. Oh, yes. Absolutely rewarded here. Oh, my God. Too late for you. Well, yeah, I don't want to waste time playing archaeologist. So they're going to snap that up. I do have a lot of empty enclosures as well. Uh, this is 5 Asia anyway, so we don't care. Two rep feels like a giant waste. I, I, I know I can't do anything else. Wait, what the heck? How are you leaving that? They took... Kookaburra's fine, I guess, for Iconic. Reindeer? Because it flocks? Yeah, two Asians didn't really do a lot for them. I agree with that. You can probably just do a build four action. Um, like slow worm release is a consideration. Uh, no, it's, it can't be. I can't 
let them release the bison, just gotta wait for a stalk or something. Um, wanna do like size one. Or size three, I mean. Maybe this will encourage them to cause the break because they can see me getting a second, like a third worker here. Uh, the issue is that, hang on, we don't actually need this rep. Let's just take the Asia card. Not be stupid. This is very good value for us and we can... I kind of want to keep the tortoise. They're definitely, <laughs> I'd say they're definitely not sniping. They have a point lead right now, but we do have five Asia is what's keeping us in the game. And, and Sun Bear, I guess. Uh, what are we discarding here though? We can get rid of Chameleon maybe. Snapping is useful. Our end games are also terrible. I, I need to keep this. We, we need a project to do later. And sunbathing could be super handy, so I think we do, do just get rid of snapping. Trying not... Oh, no. Don't give him a rhino. It's not the most playable for them. They, would, they should still take it, though. I mean, America release does nothing for us right now. Uh, still take it anyway. Constricting their build, I don't think, does enough. Like my thoughts right now are play Tamarin, release it immediately. Play Tamarin into size two. We can release it from size two anyway. It's not really making best use out of the clever. Mm, I, I like I like the release here. And the question is, are we constricting just because it's the best animal to play right now, or just the tortoise? Could sunbathe our Europe release? Need need money really. Uh, definitely take size twos here. Cards can go down. Revealing all the projects for them. Yeah, yeah. We, we, have a, we have a nice boost with five Asia coming in. And they should not be able to end this round. Europe 2 is an option later for sure as well. Turtle's just good value. I've got a size 3 for it. I, I want to save Constriction for later. We need size 2s. We can cover this rep. Now the question is, is it expert on Asia time or not? Or is it just break five time? 
They have no visible end games. We have two now, but our but they have an elephant. Okay, elephant down means I think we do have time to play expert on Asia because that's most of their money gone. That's yeah, that's that's all that literally all their money gone. Uh, and they have a rhino, which is unless they're, unless they're about to release one of them, which would be super annoying. Then they can't fit their rhino in currently. We should have time to do this. Don't think placement matters too much. I'd say it's pretty likely that we're not building an Avery, so I like being able to size two over a sponsor. And yeah, I don't, I don't think we need any, any more enclosures for the rest of the game. Maybe a size 2 touching rock or something. Now, if this is a release, it's going to be pretty bad. Yeah, releasing the bison. It's like perfect for him. He can... Play Rhino, do Species Diversity. That's basically the end of the game in a couple of moves. And 4x tokens, so my Constriction doesn't do a lot. Um, we just don't need to build. Pretty sure they can't afford the Rhino still. It cost at least 20. So I'd, I'd rather do cards than they can, they can cause the break. Glad I didn't let them have that. All right, that, that's, that's playable. That's playable. I mean, this is also, no, this isn't actually literally not playable. So, how do we start this off? Because they, they end the game in basically two moves. I think we build our size two, play Waza special small, unless something pops up like an eagle. Oh, that's a, that's a great point. They, they actually don't have a uni yet. So it delays it one turn, I guess, but it gives them a donation as well. Wonder if they snap that up, honestly. They should snap up the Anaconda. No, we can't play it. They should not. Yeah, okay, that, that makes sense. If Rhino is not getting played, it means we still have some time. I guess just this. Yeah, I like uh, playing down Waz a special small. Jackpot, look at that. Our, our diversity, okay, our diversity is about to, oh my God. Okay, thankfully that's not playable. Hey Dana. Okay, so we actually don't have a ton of money. Also don't want to take X... Ugh, I have to take X tokens. I want to save the Sun Bear though. I think. Could literally just take this because it's playable. Play one, two, three, four. It makes sense, I think. Uh, 
the first project we're doing is Asia. Oh, no, but like we can do two Europe, I guess. Two Europe, take three X tokens. Save the constriction. Just play these two. That's 13, 26. Th we can afford it all. I don't think they can end the game in one turn. Uh, if they can, it would be pretty disastrous. Oh, why? Why give them a third pettings? I can't believe they're not spending an X there. They are, and they're going to get the donkey. Hopefully they can't play the Rhino now. They, they like forgot that they couldn't play it. If this is an Eagle, they sh still shouldn't be able to end it. Oh, of course they have the other one. Well, that's looking pretty bad. We don't even get to double constrict. Like, of course they have it, though. Yeah, it's just, we spend one, we still have three, so yeah, as long as, they, they can't attack us either. Like, we have a strong final move. I, I kind of hope they end the game here, because we've got nothing else after that. Diversity, we're only going to have two. Uh, they play herbivore breeding first. Yeah. So then we could start by playing expert on Africa. It doesn't. I don't think it matters. I think we're just cooked. Could no, I can't break nine. Breaking nine does nothing for us. They're certainly going to end next round, so the advantage of playing Expert first is we get to save some X tokens, like save quite a few, which is end game points. We just don't really have anything better to be doing. Yeah, it also means we get one CP from here. It's nice, I guess. Not... Dude. Uh... Like, getting the triple petting zoo is annoying, but the turning point is probably the double pilfering on, on this map in particular. It's just ridiculous. And being first player getting to, like... Oh, dear. Well, <laughs> that was definitely not a mega, mega turn. Sponsor Reptiles. What does Sponsor Reptiles do for us, though? We can get another X token here. That's, that's cute. And it's going to be a good last turn. It's, it's not going to be enough. Unless their end game is, like, literally zero, even then I still think we don't have enough. Yeah, we're like 12 points behind, which is all the end games we have, basically. If they have zero end games, then it's like close.
Oh yeah, they have an elephant. I I got excited for a second there. They have they have two end games, so they're never gonna have zero. Ah, oh, GG. I saw the small animal zoo pop. I was like, oh my god. But they they got like they got everything. They got double pilfer. They finished all their petting zoos. They got the elephant. They got the eagle rhino. And they finished in 29 turns. Like, you don't see that every day with a player that rated. That's... I know, like, when you're that rated, you can play that well, but you can't consistently finish the game that quickly, so... And especially because they caused all five breaks, like, what the heck? Yeah, snapping federal grants and then predator breeding showing up. What did they take? Uh, I think they took 12 money. To be fair, they did spend it all. They, they definitely could have ended... They could have ended that turn, like... They could have ended much earlier playing eagle and, like, species diversity. It might have been a mistake them waiting for that long, but... It was. I think they definitely broke at the right time. Like if it, because I've upgraded sponsors, it makes more sense for them to break because I can stall out rounds longer. Yeah, I think we did get we did get some luck with like the Sun Bear Constriction draw. I did not like our opening hand at all, though. I think they 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 did get luckier. But that's how it goes. We'll play an arc game before the end of the stream. We've got to get a win. I don't know. I think if they end it earlier, if they end it after I played to Europe, yeah, it's probably a good move. Um. If they end it after I play those two sh crappy European animals, then they do, like, wreck us. But they couldn't have known that. <laughs> What's Brian's rating? How's Brian doing in It's a Wonderful World? See, I know what's going to happen. You, you're going to snipe me and look at, my, look at my hand, though. Do I really want that? I'm just going to keep searching here till we see Brian. You said you beat the number two arena player. Where where are you? Hello? You you're definitely not getting a green thumb though. Now's your chance, Brian. We'll play another arc, but a bit later. Do you want to play uh, Obsession before I get super, super tired? Oh, yeah, I do dislike playing with him. Okay. Should we uh, check out Brian's stats and see what he likes to go for? Does prefer the generals, which I think is generally stronger. <laughs> generally stronger. Pretty interesting start though, like, I think transmutation is the clear first pick when there's uh, research centers. But the thing that I don't like leaving is one white when he's probably going to start recycling plant. 
I, I just, I literally just round red thumbed him. Anyway, it looks like transmutation's not getting built, but we can deny recycling plant at least. And we, we need a white for research center anyway. This game, we draft cards and play them to produce resources. And some of the cards give points. This one gives seven points if it's built, but we need five blue cubes to build it. And like something like this card produces a blue cube when we build it. Just a, it's, it's a very fun engine building game. Oh, Brian, Brian, you trying to deny my, my yellow? Do I just completely wreck his start by taking the other white? You can do that. Now, like, we could even transition to a nuclear plant, but I don't think that's worth. Well, it might actually legitimately be worth. We get four more cars, nuclear plant, that, a green, and saucer squadron. It's not enough to build everything. Uh, but there's plenty of resource centers in the other hand, so... Just go for, like... Secret lab, go for robotic. Secret lab, maybe. I think we, we are going a yellow build. I'm not sure what Brian's going to be doing. Potentially blue from Brian, which would make taking this away pretty nice. We get a research center back here anyway. Uh, Obsession, I think you can play more than two, but I've only played it at two, and I plan on playing it at, at two today. Kind of wanted that, but whatever. And this leaves us something else. We could take this for endgame scoring, potentially. Mm -hmm. Alright, the plan is to build this. Can't build it yet, but we do build that. That goes. And I believe we keep this for later. And maybe we keep this for later to build this and the white we can discard. Doesn't matter which one we put it on. Okay. As long as we get, yeah, we, we go finance this here. As long as we get two yellows in the next round, we just out, start out producing in yellow. Although having this uh, white for him is very nice. Arenas too. This is going to be useful for us. Uh, there is two yellow here. But we, we do kind of want giant dam anyway. Harbor zone is maybe more scary. I don't know. I don't know that I mind. <clears throat> no, I guess we, we, we need the black. We, we just take one yellow back here. Hopefully there's more. Okay, the, the, just. <laughs> I don't think he understands that round two giant dam is like a hundred times worse than round. Uh, round one giant dam is a hundred times worse than round two giant dam. The lack of yellows means we keep Giant Dam, but I th think we have to discard these two. I don't mind discarding this. This one is more annoying. Uh, I don't remember if there was a white in the other hand. Probably. Yeah, plenty. 
So taking this white does nothing. But kind of want it anyway. Want more white. And we could like build a military base. Could take this for later. Yeah, sure. We're going pretty hybrid right now. I think what Brian is doing well is he's got his production sorted and he if he gets his uh, scoring cards later, he may just win. But if we can deny enough scoring cards... To be, to be honest though, we only have one half scoring card ourselves. You know, I, I totally should have left Giant Dam and baited him into building it. It would not have been that good for him. All these are fairly useless, so I think we just... This is buildable, but we don't need that much green. Giant Dam is going to come round 3. Which means we produce five, so maybe we can. We're already putting on that, so I think we just recycle stuff. Now, another white to build military base or another secret lab. Maybe that for some points. So these two have to go, unfortunately. I think we are building all of these though. And then the plan is Giant Dam next round. He also didn't get a black, which is good. We should also remember to at least take one general, but now we should win enough productions. Interesting, actually. We could just finish Underwater City right now with the Crystallium. I think that does make enough sense to do. Uh, yeah, what we need now is just scoring cards. We, we both just need scoring cards. Gravity Inverted doesn't do a whole lot for him. Uh, it does a lot for us. We have a lot of yellow buildings. Virtual Reality also looking really nice. I can't imagine you would take it. We should be able to build both. Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna win black and oh my god, that's that's pretty good for him. Uh, he oh his yellow production is god awful. What the heck? So is ours though. He's gonna get some more. I like just taking away the scoring. Um, this is also quite good for us, but it's bad for him because he can't build it. Yeah, actually, I think we just need to start taking every yellow recycle that we can. Nah, he's not interested in Creepy Baby anymore. It shouldn't be, at least. So I think we take this to build it, and then another yellow. But we should build Virtual Reality this round, and we need one more yellow to recycle here. Oh, we could Giant Tower, I kind of feel like keeping low.
Hmm. Not scared of any of these. Is he, <laughs> is he going for another nuclear plant? Can't stop it. Might actually just need this. I don't I don't think general multipliers because it's round three and I only have, I only have one general. Just take away the maximum yellow producer. Like I'm gonna get four more generals from winning black and blue, but Uh, we need to spend our white on the secret labs, so I don't want to take either of these. I think airborne lab, and we probably just recycle it for our virtual reality. Virtual re virtual reality needs to get built this round, and then I think we have enough green that we can keep creepy baby for five points. Uh, I think we need to keep giant tower for points as well because we have four times yellow buildings. So like all these are hundred percent getting kept. This needs to go here. And I think this goes on that. I don't think I don't think we can afford to build airborne lab. Okay, we're still winning green. Has there been no black recycle? I don't understand. Has there been none? Because he should have built robotic animals like two rounds ago. Also really nice that we continue to win I honestly don't know if we go for generals or finance. I guess still financiers. Well, uh, maybe not. You can really go for either. Now I produce five yellow, which is nearly enough. Well, basically enough for both secret labs. Yeah, actually, now now thinking back, I'm glad that we took giant dam away. because black has been his main issue. He produces like, now he produces a lot of white. Oh, true, but yeah, there was a nuclear plan in round two, so he, he should have prioritized taking at least one of them. Right, no scoring cards here is beautiful to see. A museum is even eight points for us. Uh, there is, that is unbuildable for him right now, so we just take the museum. Nothing else here gives points for him. And do we build all of this? Yeah, I think we're, we produce seven green, so basically we already do. Oh yeah, no point scoring, no point scoring. Another museum. Uh, what we need is another yellow. And he also doesn't really want yellow though, but I think we just take it anyway. Yeah, all the green cards are unbuildable right now. Uh, okay, we're actually going to finish potentially two green cards, which means two more yellow production, so we produce seven yellow. Which is currently just enough for. Okay, we're recycling that, so. We could even look at building this. Me Mega Bomb is quite buildable as well. I'm looking at all of these. <laughs> now he's like, oh my god, I need black. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uni and Museum both look like good point scoring cards too. I think we just take as much yellow as we can. 
We have we have three crystallium. I think we're fine. Yeah, I kind of regret not taking university now, but I think we can even build this museum. Ah, oh, do we need a white? This is maybe too greedy, and we should just focus on building everything that we can. Uh, let's just check. Don't remember if there was a white in the other hand. Unfortunately, the replay takes a bit longer towards the end of the game. Green, I think we're all right. We produce at least nine. Okay, that, that was totally a mistake. Checking replay. Oh, that's, that's only white coming. D depends if we want to build everything here. Alright, so that goes for sure, that goes for sure. We always put a Crystallium on that, so I don't forget. Museum is great points for us. <clears throat> we produce enough yellow, that's for sure. Um, and if we spend all our Crystallium on Neuroscience, we produce a lot more green as well. We produce like 12. I'm thinking with leftovers, it's, it's enough to build both of these. Not enough to build this, so we don't really care about that. But yeah, we should be able to build all this. Against the policy, well... <laughs> it's right here, you can just click replay to see. If, if they didn't want it to happen, they could disable it. But no, I, I don't feel like it's going against any rules. If I was really tryharding, I could just take a screenshot of my previous hand. Anyway, even without that, we have we have too many soaring cards coming in. And there's two financing multipliers, so he's gonna finish on around fifty, I would say, by the time he gets all the financiers. Uh, it doesn't matter for us. We, we have enough to finish everything anyway. <laughs> so he's going to complain about Giant Dam, but it's definitely not the reason. Transmutation is just generally a, a very good start. I was about to green thumb him. Yeah, sure, he's, he's been a nice opponent. Well, thank you for putting me back on the win winner's streak, back on the winner's list. I think we'll go with Obsession now. Just got to check all the cell, oh my god. See, so yeah, I also got to make sure that we're not playing with the expansions yet, because I am definitely not ready. I don't even know what polite society means. I'm going to assume it's an expansion as well. Or maybe, it, no, that's friendly. I don't care about friendly or not. <laughs> I, I, don't un, I don't know what all these options are. But I don't want them. I'm fine with 
starter or random. What is starter guest though? What is what is starter guest? Is oh that's like your family? I think I'm fine with either. I don't really care. Low VP value monuments. I also think I don't care. You can you can try to have revenge in arc. The four guests beside family. Oh right, I see, I see, I see. All right, two hundred rated. I'll be honest, we're probably I'm probably gonna get smashed, but we'll see how close we can get to a two hundred rated player. This is my third game, and I don't actually know which is the best, but I feel like having the extra money at the start is quite beneficial. I mean, you can try to beat me. I mean, I'll, I'll try to beat you. I don't know. Okay, we're focusing on green. There's a couple of green buildings here, but they're quite expensive. So this costs 300. I'm hoping they can't afford it, but they always should be able to, I guess. Finish the game with at least 1200. Wow, okay. Blue tiles, French garden, one VP for each prestige guest, okay. And what are our special, what are our guests, casual guests, these are called. Just 100, one rep and a casual guest. The Azul tournament's going, well, they get 600 already. Okay, well, we can't afford the other green. And that will tie us on green. Which is fine for now. So I guess we go to balls first, flip it over. And then use our best dudes. So we want at least 500, which means we need 200 from somewhere. So probably you and... Just the one that requires a servant to get it out of the way faster. Another green one. Oh, I forgot that the green also gives money. Okay. Maybe they will, maybe they will totally be able to afford the other green. Uh, they can't yet though, because they need the the footman back. I'd say it's kind of complicated. It's like a 20 minute how to play video, but I pretty much got it after that. Oh, you own the game in real life, that's cool. It has been enjoyable my first two games, I just don't really know this, the strategy yet. You need a footman, you give two reputation, but you cost a hundred money, that's not good, dude. Also not sure like how many breaks we should be having. Okay, they're, they're flipping over this, so I'm gonna assume it's a decent move. I don't mind doing the same. If I flip, flip over this, it uses the butler, which is fine. We just have to spend two family members. <clears throat> Uh, and do we want, actually I do like the servant quarters, but I'm just wondering if I should be saving up for this, but we are getting 300 money from this, but like nothing from anywhere else. You give 100, you give 100, but I think servants quarters is pretty good though. Need 400 to get it. So I have to do you and I guess you and let's, let's draw some more guests. Draw two. Yeah, you, you giving money is great. We'll keep you, I guess.
Oh yeah, they, they get extra money. And we, we get extra money. Uh, possibly should have saved up, but I guess they could afford this green anyway. Oh, but there's another green here. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. We're going to tie for this round. We just have to use this and then we are uh, 2 plus 3 and they're on the same. 2 plus 3. And then we should, I guess we should save money unless there's something we need for a goal here. Oh, wait, no, no, they are going to buy it. Oh, they didn't though. What? Is that not just a mistake? Okay, I'm, I did miss that we need two rep required to do that. Uh, and that means if we buy this, we still tie. So we need to buy this and tie. So I like going, we can't, uh, no, we need two ladies, we can. This gives money as well. Does it give enough? Yes. This gets our rep up. <sighs> Did I not click on this? Thank you for reminding me of that. But did I not? Wait. It doesn't matter because this didn't get flipped over. Conservatory, flower room and music room seem pretty hard to do. I guess also 1200 money is pretty hard to do. Not hard to do, but I don't want to. <sighs> yes, this is what annoys me when I'm learning a game when like stupid things like this happen and it's, it's like has wrecked the rest of the game for me. Okay, we don't, don't have enough rep to do either of these. We could hire more things, but I don't, I don't think we need to hire anything more with the, uh, with their servants quarters. So like we could go back here for, th it's pretty bad to revisit that. We could also just pass. I don't really want to pass while we still have these though. Maybe just here again. You and can't do you though. You give a lot of money. That can't be that bad. Probably look to pass next round. And purple is the color. Can afford that. Need five prestige to use it. Like, am I focusing too much on just the the uh, points from it? Maybe. I uh, I believe next turns just seems like a passing turn. I guess we could go here, here again. Uh, we do not, don't have the rep, so we have to pass. Mm. 
Yeah, I, I like I know that we, I don't have to purchase every time. I obviously don't know the like the right balance of how much to buy and how much not to buy. But it seems like I need to be working on my rep now to use these better spots. So who gives rep? I could just like really work towards the sculpture garden to get a lot of rep that way. I did that in the, the last game. But it's a it's a lot to commit to. We're ahead on purple at least. I don't see how they could overtake us. But yeah, we're going to have to visit a pretty bad room right now. We're going to have to reflip something. I guess destroy more guests. And um, we just want things to give rep. You give one, but we need more. You give two with a male prestige. You give two to cost money. That might just be better. Oh, we cannot because there's no footman. Like, how, how are you meant to get rep? Just keep getting more guests. You give rep. You give two cards though. Is that not just really good? I also don't think dismissing is really that good. I think we just honestly need the rep. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to buy. Hey Alex, how's it going? Alice, come here, you're not going out right now. Okay, they've passed. So I think we've both passed once each. And we get to court, nice. Ah uh, yes, you give three rep. Perfect. Or two rep and uh, I think we just need the rep more. Discard an objective. Flower room and any garden. Main library and north library. This probably. Ah, oh, okay. We also have 300 pounds is a lot. Right, yeah, we can do one and two. Do all the families have family daughter like this? Yes, going very well. Went to a went to a theme park today, so I'm kind of tired from it all. All the adrenaline. Gladys, Gladys is upstairs, so I'm not sure if she's sleeping or not. She's also tired. <laughs> uh, brown is the color. We're even, so like I guess the high priority should be the north dining room right now. Which do you think is the best family to start with? Or is it just like you can literally go with any of them and do well? Like preference. So this is this is first priority, but I assume they're going to buy it. Otherwise, I'm looking at Sculpture Garden. <laughs> exactly. What is the giant dam of this game? Thank you. Uh, so even if we buy this brown, it doesn't get us ahead.
Uh, we have two rep though, so we can start using our better, better things. So this is two people. So we go like one, two. Yeah, seems like a good combo. With 800, do we purchase anything? We can just save money. We, we got up to three reps, so we can even use this next round. And we can, because we have the servant's quarters. Yeah, I, I like that. I play, I got this in the first game I played it. It's, it seemed very useful. <laughs> yes, fatigue, exactly. <laughs> This is sort of the mid game, like I'm looking at this monument very heavily. Uh, flower room though gives us a lot of bonus VP if we find a garden. Jeez, they're getting a lot of money in rep. Also, like, I feel like I should be able to see... Oh, I can. I didn't actually realize. Uh, I was going to say, I feel like I should be able to see how many guests they have. Looks like we have more guests. I don't know if they're discarded or not. Okay, okay, I see. So we have about the same amount. This draws, you seem really good, but not playable just yet. Uh, anyone in green is not playable just yet because we have to use from the servants quarters. We should look at using, this is just any three guests. Always you, I think. Then just like the family members. Uh, no, can't do you. I don't want to lose rap. Yeah, it's got, it has to be one of the basic ones, maybe just you as well. Rep probably more important right now. Yeah, I feel like the now is the right time to buy the sculpture. It gives us a lot of victory points and then it's still going to give us one, two, three, four reputation. This is zero by default, unfortunately. Uh, have we seen French Garden yet? I guess not. Gain the Underbutler. Have to use it though. Gain an underbutler. Don't remember exactly when they picked this up. Also, how do they have that much staff? Did they actually just spend a turn getting staff? I guess that's going to set them up for a much better end game than us. This is not quite playable, but could be soon. I don't actually want to use any of these rooms. I guess we could 
do this and just use it twice. It's probably our best room right now. And we can we can use three guests. We can use. Uh, we can't use you yet. Next. One. Two. One that requires nothing. Three. Oh, four guests. Builder's Holiday just means we can buy as much as we want. But it doesn't discount stuff, right? No, of course not. For only 100, this must be worth. Like, it's going to contribute to the end anyway. I don't think we buy anything else though. Early purple. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't really know the time of when to hire stuff. This is two points, at least we should keep it. This seems like it's like really not happening, but we could still be left with 1200 money. Okay, reputation does not limit actions. Keep that in mind. We have four rep now, so we should flip this building back. We should also flip this. We need three guests. Do one, two. Refresh servant for three rep. Does that actually stop this one from being played though? Because if it does, then it's not useful. This is also three guests though. There's one, two, three rounds left. I feel like I will need to pass at least once, so this could be a passing round. Brown again, so brown counts twice. But we basically want to visit the two green rooms. I won't buy anything yet. Like visiting one, two seems best. And there's no reputation limit, so we can use... Well, we only have four as a max anyway. How are we looking overall on points, though? Um, yeah, it's pretty sad that red doesn't count. I'm going to assume better with the expansion, but I do not know. This gives plus five points. Four guests. Drawing, uh, we can't, yeah. Three rep, two cards seems better. Maybe we'll save one of the servants. Oh, no, 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 maybe that doesn't make sense.
do we buy? The problem is all these are just worth zero as a base. And I don't think I want to use one because we want to do croquet. But if they give zero as a base, it doesn't do anything for us to buy them. The only thing I would consider right now is buying a three and then using it next round. Maybe the North Library makes sense for that. And we just don't do our green one because it's worth double for the Fairchild. And it's also a, a blue guy to use, which we can do. We do have enough rep to use this. Dude, what is going on here? Um, okay, we should refresh a servant for three rep. I think almost a hundred percent. It'll allow us to invite more fancy people. Actually, is it any advantage if they're only going to give three rep anyway? Five hundred money gets us this end goal. Oh, this is only four gentlemen. All right, that narrows it down. One, two by default then. Oh, why do they all have these damn requirements? Okay, it does not seem worth it to flip that. Then we just do this, which was the original plan. But we have the blue guy doing nothing. Like trying to win these points, but I don't I don't think we do. I'm pretty sure I'm just losing anyway. Is there any way that we can actually invite four males? Only if we lose three rep. Then we can invite three hundred money, dude. We get two hundred from you. We lose a hundred though. We get a hundred. We don't buy. We have 1200 left over for our end goal and some flat points. We have quite a few guests, but I don't. I doubt we win the Fairchild at the end and our reputation's way down. Also, does the does our sculpture give us a rep for this? Do, like does does this count as a turn? That's what I'm not sure about. I know there are lots of people that want to see Ark Nova, but I'm still playing my other games first. They win it by like a couple. 
Uh, we didn't get the French Garden. Alright, how much did we lose by? I guess we can always afford to borrow because... Yeah. This is optimal by one point. I need to uh, practice more. This is my lowest score out of all the games I've played. Thank you for the game. Like in the last one, I at least managed 110. I don't know how you get like 140s right now. Well, I'll have to look at the replay of this from their perspective and see what they did. But I did not expect to win that. That's right, that's game number three. Play, play an Azul game and then arc. I should actually look at my tournament game. Running out of time would be pretty bad, huh? Well, I feel like we're in normal mode. I guess I don't care that much. This seems like a fairly straightforward start. I, I'm enjoying Federation. I think Federation can play next week. Played a couple of games of that as well, but in, in turn based. Yeah, I was I was trying to get the Fairchilds all throughout the game, but just misunderstood a few things as usual. I think we just keep taking away white here. I don't mind if they take first player, but just taking all the white seems pretty damn good for us right now. And then even grouping up stuff so we can get two of something for line two. Yeah, even if they take two yellow now, then I just take the one thing and I get either two red or two blue. And now I can do the same. Now we can take one yellow, deny them line three, and get either blue or red for line two. Okay, pretty, pretty nice start here. Nearly unbeatable, I would say. Don't need to commit that. We've already seen eight white out, so very unlikely we're going to see a lot of white coming up. Of course we do. See what they start with. This could be a game where we just take every single white and just bully them out of it. Two yellows, interesting. Don't mind starting a red here, sort of threaten to deny them. Also group up these yellows together. Well, wow, 300 is very good. I talked to Andrew Small about it, who is uh, like high 300s now, I think. Gave me some strategy tips. That's an empty thread. I'm not, not actually going to deny them the red. But I do like more white here. And I don't mind grouping up blue. 
I guess actually we should just start taking black for line five. I was considering just going all out for white, just going for color, which is t a total possibility. <laughs> yeah, 500, 500s will do that. So do I mind giving them, them four white, but then we get three blue ourselves? Or do we just take two blue and make them deny one? And if they deny one, I just deny a one white. Yeah, you can, I don't mind that trade. Don't think the white does a whole lot for them. And now we just get a single black left over. Should know that there is a lot of yellow out, so two yellow should be a kind of high priority right now. Uh, we also haven't seen much black. They are first player. It's a good tile for them. I don't think they should be, I guess they are interested in black though. I don't think they should be interested in yellow. Although if I was them, I would definitely look to group up all these yellows together. We have a nice 10 point lead though currently. Our column's basically done. That's a, good, that's a very good move. And now I actually do need to take this. Because if I leave it for them, they can actually get yellow color very, very easily. I guess we've only seen 7, 12. I should have enough time to get 2 yellow back at some point. And we get 2 red for line 2. Take two red first. They probably take one black. Yeah, we do as well. And then just discard one of these two. Yep. Uh, it is minus two, but I, I would rather leave this open. Like, there should still be a lot of black coming, and I wouldn't mind doing black tile on four. Mm, I guess should maybe prioritize it for two or three more. They should have no interest in yellow, but if they take this away, it's pretty bad. At the same time, taking one black here doesn't seem that bad at all. It means they have to commit two here. We could potentially get red because they, they have no interest in red. So I think red on line three is an easy complete this round. So the black can go on line four. And if I'm them, I don't know what I'm doing. Hmm. Could definitely punish them, but I think we just take first player and play it pretty safe. Sure, like, yeah, I could, I could have done three black, but that, that would have forced me to take two, and I didn't really want to. Blue's also really bad for them. Anyway, I'm... I like the idea of taking one white. It's 
see if they do go for fire blue. I don't, I don't think they should do that at all. Like now, now I can just make them discard four red. They take one white, we take one yellow. And there's actually a very good chance they need four white, we're first player. It's going to be kind of tough for them to get that. Yeah, there's like no white here, just take this and we win the game. Can even just bin it, just, just in case we get left over with like all the blue. Yeah, it's done, they don't, they don't finish line 3 or line 2. Two black is fine. I also don't don't mind grouping up the blue, like as long as we get two black here and just make sure the game ends this round, then we win no matter what. We're too far ahead right now. And if all the blues are grouped up, they don't even finish. Well, if they do finish blue, then it costs them more than it gets them. Yeah, whatever. Just end the game. Should take. Yeah, two blue is a good move for them, probably. Four blue is a good tile for them, but just take three red is equally good, if not better. Equally good. And it means we don't discard yellow. Yep, just denied their column because we took so much white early. I'm kind of surprised that they still committed to that. The rating's actually as like as high as it's ever been. So this is the tournament game. This is the final eight. The winner of this tournament overall gets a flight to Portugal. It took one white. Mm. I don't see why I wouldn't just take... So here's what's going to happen. I take three black, then he takes two blue, and then I just get three white for line two. That seems fine to me. Otherwise I just get two blue for line two. But I do need to track tiles this round. One yellow, three yellow. How much blue? Two, four blue. So eight. Said there was three yellow, so six. Red, three. So nine. Black, we have three and three. So six, so nine. White, three, four, so eight, so pretty even. Uh, does this add up? 26, yes, that equals 40. So yeah, I think we just go ahead with that. 
He hasn't discarded anything yet, but also I'm not sure what is going on down over here. Like he's going for this column, quite unusual. All right, should I should I just queue for arc? I don't I don't know if Brian's trying to snipe me or not. Maybe everyone's trying to snipe me. I feel like I'm just gonna queue. If if uh if JD wants to snipe me, he he can. He would never. Okay, he's definitely trying. But little does he know, I've red thumbed his uh, main account as well. Wow, actually, okay, we don't hit JD, but we hit someone that has a higher elite rating than I do at the moment. Second player again. There's some stuff. I'll see. If I lose, <laughs> if I lose this game, maybe not. There's some good there's some good stuff. There's uh Asia Predator for starters. Archaea on this map I do quite like. And then the question is I don't think we go for the croc combo. Maybe we just go for like eagle on this. Uh, I don't know what we're doing with our first thing. I don't particularly like Asia partners who into two Asia here. Could just be Croc over Eagle, but I feel like the Croc is not that good just for one Australia icon, and it's never getting played first. Could just be Ornithologist over Reptile breeding as well. I like having the option of the early project though. I do like Ornithologist, but I'd rather keep an Eagle over it, I think. With Archaeologists, we're probably going to go for Research Zoo as well. So ideally we start with two Rep Uni, but not guaranteed to get it being second player. <laughs> two money side entrance, what? Were you streaming yesterday, Charles? I'll oh, definitely agree with that for Archaeologist. Yeah, I think you shouldn't be able to get unis in partnership. Uh, yeah, partner zoos from them, from Archaeologist. Apparently a really tough hand over here. Hmm... <sighs> Almost playable, like not for not for this round though. I think we just yeah, ideally get two rep. Otherwise, hmm, lines a bit too late game. It makes me happy for two reasons. One, I get the uni I want, and two, it means I'm not being stream sniped right now. Guaranteed, because otherwise you'd just take this uni away. I think what it signals to me is that there are no sponsors in this hand, which is also probably why it was a tough opening pick. Which means probably break five coming. Like, it's definitely not zoo school. I know that. We just like build to here. <laughs> I 
Animal coming early. Uh, definitely tells me no sponsor. Hoping to draw one. Uh, nice for Australia. So yeah, no sponsor means we got to build and play animals ourselves. We leave the rep here when we have our archaeologists, so I think we just go like this. Maybe, maybe even like this. Just get some... Why, why am I building a size 2 though? I actually literally don't need to. Then we get the other uni upgrade build, build over to this X. I don't think we need to clever anything down because I'm pretty sure I know the next couple of moves. No, I, I, I actually don't believe any of the top players stream snipe, but like everyone knows I stream at this time. If someone finds me in, in arena, I guess there's nothing stopping them from stream sniping me. And it would definitely be useful information. Like imagine if they just took the uni because they knew it, knew that, that I had archaeologists. Good hunt. Shouldn't matter that much because we're just gonna. Okay, he wants to cause the break. Unless he found a sponsor. Breeding? No. Actually, like seriously, I think boa constrictor might just be snappable here, honestly. Just for just for this and because it's playable. And we can actually constrict with it. So I, I like that. Cause the break, please. Well, that's a nice sponsor to find from the deck. All right, how do we uh, reply to that? Consideration is a <laughs> petting zoo for this X. That would let us cause the break, but at the same time, what else are they gonna do? Maybe petting zoo for the X is. <laughs> this is fuck. This is crazy talk. Just X out animals. They have their income advantage is not high enough that I'm too worried if they want to keep spamming one sizes or whatever. I got enough money. Whoa, who is this? Ark Nova Enjoyer? This, that feels like a Smurf account name. Panda. Oh, I can definitely lose to non-snipers as well. Like last game. That should be better. You can definitely lose to non-snipers. So we're close. We get second uni, we upgrade animals. We get a rep from the map. We need to get both these reps from the map. Okay, Greater Rhea tells me America release or low mountain range. I can copy off either though. And this could this could be the next like we could just release to get the partner zoo here. I am 90% sure that's a release coming. Upgrade build and animals. I'm like 90% sure. We can't afford the eagle just yet. Oh, I can actually. 
Oh, okay. Can't copy that. That's fine. Um, we can have a slow round because I can just build towards like the in oh they didn't take a worker. They took five income. Then I guess we're gonna have a short round so we don't worry about getting a second worker just yet. We just focus on surrounding our park to get some income advantage or to get income back. Grab the barred owl hut. It's not the worst. Not the worst. Uh, I don't mind arcade here either. Because like I'm I'm fine with the longer round. Arcade gives me something to play. Could even play arcade over here. No, that's stupid. Just let's work more towards the rep. Uh, I like arcade. But Al Hub does fit nicely here. We have the X token. Maybe I do care more about seeing more cards. Ever make Arena three player? Uh... Oh, I'm gonna. Yeah, we are gonna do this. We're gonna constrict their sponsors. I'm going to spend an X to do that. Well, that's a really bad X to spend. Okay, they 100% want the break right now. The other thing is they can fully build. But I also do want to play animals. Like, I want to play this guy. I think we just go ahead and do it. We can nearly fully build as well, actually. Oh yeah, oh, constricting build, nice, nice, nice. Can't quite get a second worker yet. We'll get it at the start of next round, so we can start the round with like America's partner zoo. Are they going to build over an X? No. I'm just going to surround their thing. Yeah, they can't cause the break here, so like I'll just, we'll just draw from the deck. That's very... Well, these are both very playable. I feel like I have no use for you. Even though you will be discounted shortly. Oh yeah, we can like... Uh, I guess I shouldn't cover this rep first. Should really work on this. It's so close. We just can't quite afford to do everything. Could afford to do it if we had an X. Uh, but the round's going to end like... I just want to get Adventure Playground down at least. Could get Migration down first. No, I don't, I don't need Migration. Just get Adventure down. Like I, I know, I know, I'm, I'm fully aware that I can play Bard Owl Hut here. Get the rep, build two get a second worker, but I feel like the next two actions are going to be cards and then break three anyway, so just rather get Adventure Playground down around here and then maybe even just build two here, Kiosk Pavilion, pick up Arcade as well or something. No, probably don't. Don't know why you are so eager to, eager to delay the round. You're going to get Arcade. Well, now I wish I'd done it. 27 income. It's about to be like 30-ish. The advantage we have is the rep lead. Plus some archaeologist money to come.
it gave us some time, but like say I X'd out cards right now. Yeah, I think they're even debating about doing this. I don't know. Like they can still cause the break in two actions by doing cards and sponsor three, break three. And I know they have exploring. Yeah, so that's what they're that's what they're doing. And it's gonna break three. So I don't mind taking like a kind of full build action here. Basically, just a size two kiosk here, pavilion. Size two, we get five money from the archaeologist. Cause we don't we don't need the rep now anymore. Money's probably more important for us. And do we, maybe just from the deck, I don't think we need Arcade particularly. Nice, maybe, maybe Medical Breakthrough is a much better answer. Kind of regret that. Uh, but I'm looking to play the Shoe Bill from range after we get the America Partner Zoo, I think. That'll get us our rep for a second worker. It's not bad at all though. Like I already have the science. I've got three here and I have research through end goal. And it's early enough that it's going to give me like at least two CP plus some bonus points. It seems pretty damn good here actually. Oh yeah, compared to science museum, of course, but I don't, I don't see a science museum in the display. I understand why they're waiting around. Like I do have sponsors to play. Now you're going to take Arcade because you think I have nothing to do. I still have stuff to do, young man. Maybe they just want Medical Breakthrough out of the range as well. It's going to make Shubil 1 cheaper for us. I assume the next move is going to play Arcade, so... What are we actually working towards? What what are the goals we're working towards? Like, nothing. We should have time to exit animals. Now, I think we do also just draw cards, because I don't mind discarding Guinea Pig here. And I think we need to hit something better. I also don't mind discarding Bowed Out Hut if we find two really good cards. That's pretty damn good. That's not. It's, it's actually okay. Got to decide, Guinea Pig can go for sure, but Sumatran Tiger is pretty good here. Fits two projects. But we've already seen Explorer go, so I don't think we are worry about it. Don't worry about upgrading sponsors. Bardell help will help us find the other eagle. Mm, it's a bit annoying to see. Also have some Asia animals here. They they only have one uni, so we're also ahead on upgrades. Let's just get Americas so we can do reptile breeding. I'm not, not sure about Arnak this week. I'm pretty zonked. Okay, we know Explorer's coming. But hello Mike, how's it going? You're not late at all, you're, you're perfectly on time. So we could like 
I don't want a barred owl hut here. We could barred owl hut down here. But it seems we don't need to play migration just yet. I don't mind doing this. See what we get. Oh, we can only keep one. Keep the sponsor. Tamarin is Tamarin is not bad at all, though. It's also discounted. It's also a size one to play. But no, nah, I feel like Vet's just going to have a lot of value right now for our science end goal as well. Plus instant five money, plus the X token saved. <laughs> yeah, we also haven't won too many games today. <laughs> Monkey. What? How are you not drawing the... Explorer? I feel like that's kind of greedy. Like, we're both working towards Asia here. And I feel like I should just take that. I can't guarantee that's what they're about to play, but... They just got the science icon. It's Asia for them, and it gives another explorer tag, so I feel like just taking it away anyway. Shrewbill we kind of do need to play from range, but maybe we just build a size 4 just in case we don't get it. Well, I mean, I can just play the monkey white. What am I talking about? We need to leave room for an aviary here and then a size 4 for the Sumatran tiger up here. But maybe we can release during... You have another sponsor? Uh, of course you have Science Lab. Because the plan was probably to draw it. Yeah, shoe build just draws us extra cards. I think we just play this dude. Basic research is pretty good. Get some a partner zoo. Uh, it doesn't quite yet. Like, I'll, I'll snap up basic research if they don't snap it here. Unless they're about to play like a Cayman or something. They're on two Australia. Yeah, I'll, I'll snap up basic research away from them. Gives them two two conservation points. I mean, honestly, it is pretty good for us as well. I guess it's a partner zoo, but it means upgrading sponsors, which uh, I don't hate the idea of actually either. Maybe it is quite snappable. Well, I'm glad that we took Bard Al Hut away from them. Now, now I'm more suspicious that it's a rhino, and they're going to do like five birds. Yeah, this is actually very, very playable for us. It secures us partner zoo. And first reward, I don't know. I I do like snapping a lot. Don't I like? Don't get me wrong. I like I like snapping a lot, but I feel like money is very important with these big animals. I feel like we just need a ton of money coming up. So we can upgrade. Oh, that's so annoying though. We have to upgrade sponsors and we miss out on the two rep here. 
but I like the question is, is it just worth supporting Asia at two right now, even though we have three in hand? We get the two rep later. I might be more, yeah. I do like that line better. But I'm still taking five money, can't stop me. They definitely want to hit five Asia though. I guess they're sort of going for Australia, but they have expert on Asia as well. Mm. That's nice for them. They're actually a while away from upgrading cards. So how good is that rep actually? Because this is my partner zoo right now. They can't take that. Would have been nice, but this is... <laughs> oh no, we're actually up to four Asia. It's fine. Still the best thing to take here. Yeah, like the two animals in our hand are now discounted. Okay, Australia, yes. We're both pretty broke. How many sponsors do I think they have? I do need to build, but I also can't afford to right now until we play vet. So we can X out animals. We're not going to be animals in for a little bit. We need a size four. So like we could do spend one X, play vet, build a pavilion size. No, it doesn't work. Size four needs to be here. We can just draw cards, question mark. Problem is that we, we do want to keep all of these. So I, I like playing vet here. I expect they're going to go for a break shortly. These small enclosures don't do enough right now. I don't mind drawing cards. Like I can't, I, I do want the break as well before building. Okay, glad we denied that. Glad we denied that. that that's actually not playable. We need a release. Uh, we should actually just draw this though. We need playable animals. That's good. Okay then. We have one project to do. Kind of want to keep all these as well, like this for the pack plus predator icon, but it just can't fit anywhere because we need aviary down here. I think we're just going to cause the break and discard this. Can play migration recording later through this spot. Oh, yeah, true, we can actually. Oh, that's interesting. That's actually very interesting. We can actually just build a size three now because we don't need to play the tiger. So that's a very good catch. We can't cover that yet though. 
that would be a great spot. And I don't even mind playing migration this round. That's, that's a good call. can play these two as next two animals. Just do reptile breeding, get snapping, or, or get aviary. Now, Endgame's looking very good right now. Archaeologist, we could hit Vet. Vet, I don't know. Like, yeah, like the, the two Science Uni on this map is pretty bad to get for no reward. Like, a Science Museum right now would be amazing. Also, still fairly sure they have a rhino just saved up, because it's not an eagle. I'm trying to think what else it, it would be. Would also suck because it's another Asia for them. Cards at two. If you want to cause the break, just do it. True, could be Pelican, but yeah, they could have played it before. I don't really know why they wouldn't play Pelican before. Australian Sea Lion, yeah. So those are two good calls. Australian Sea Lion, they couldn't play before because they needed Partner Zoo. Anyway, this seems like a fine time to play Migration. I'm guessing they're going to do a little cards 3 action. Incomes are basically even, they're slightly ahead on points so. though. Uh, we have some good things coming. Like, the problem is they're basically already guaranteed to, to support this and probably this and we have no late game projects to do apart from maybe four predators and that's going to be a huge disadvantage going into the end game. I, I want to keep all these so I don't think drawing cards does anything but I don't mind causing the break here. But what, what we need is like a science museum. Or, or a rhino would save us as well. Wait, you said Austrian sea lion, what the heck is that? Africa release looking nice as a project. Oh, they have, they have science lab. Well, they're not taking quarantine lab, okay. A little bit surprised they didn't take the sponsor. Partner Zoo. Yeah, but I've never heard of the Austrian sea lion. Oh, they didn't even have the Asia Partner Zoo. Yeah, this is not looking good. If they do five Australia and five Asia, I don't really see how we can win. Throw down reptile breeding. 
which they can leech off, but that's fine if they do. So kind of interesting here. Worker will let us support another project, but I don't think we need to. I think we just take snapping and take Africa release. Well, let's uh, see what we draw first. Just draw from the deck. That's good. That gives us more reason to stay in the round. We can get a third university for two conservation points now. Uh, let's just draw more cards. That's useful. That's useful as well. Oh, don't take that from me. <laughs> yes, yes. This is the biggest turn winner. Don't, don't take that from me. I want it. Don't take it. Sunbathing looks pretty good right now to sell one, two, I guess we don't really, yeah, it's still good. Wait, they're putting it in range? They have their Australia though, it's very, very unfortunate. Oh, and it was the sea line there, five, Jesus. So ordering, I think we just play Science Museum from range, spend 1x to do it, and then we just build over this. Uh, I'm not sure that we're going to have time to fill map though at all. I'm fairly sure that we won't. Yeah, I think we need to get this down. Can't believe they put it in range for us. And now it makes getting this uni like a lot better that I don't even need to play Talented Communicator right now. Geological? No. Peafowl? Oh, Asia. Yeah, fair enough. That would tell me that they have another Asia in hand for sure. Like securing their five Asia makes sense. So sunbathing to sell and sea lion, I think. We can also release Mr. Sunbather. I think with the amount of money that we have that we do keep shoe bill though. Well, we're about to draw a lot of cards. I think we can afford to sell them. Yeah, we're one Australia. Bam. I will. I will reply later. Size. Okay. Size freeze for the P fell. Telling me that they don't have a sponsor. Size four is not for the P foul. They have a size four Asia, so they do have the Rhino after all. They don't have the monkey. Yeah, it's going to be a, a great uni for us. Geological is not a worry at all because they, they already have so many projects to do. Um, but yeah, because I don't mind taking the uni, I think we just... Ah, it's annoying though, like... We actually have a lot of... Oh, I can just... Yeah, okay, yeah. Archaeologist is nice. We can build our size 4 and play sponsor for money. It's 
always nice this feeling like when you have one maxed out already we have two end games of vet and tech institute uh so yeah that basically does keep us up with the australia support here i guess these are only worth uh two points each these conservation points because they're going from three to eight whereas all ours are worth three each now but yeah we should just grab the university play talented communicator draw cards they don't have a ton of money they also have no workers left wait what snapping makes sense for what I should talented first, but why? My plan is just to grab the university. I don't need to support Africa release just yet. This is a very good university for us. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to spend an action to take it anyway. And this saves the next token now with talented. So what animal do you have for us? Rhino? Uh, so they have five Asia and five birds to do. But they need to cause the break like next move. And what's our end game? We build an aviary, we try to fill map. Yeah, see, I don't understand the geological snap at all then. Yeah, I agree with that. Like what the hell is that all about? only actually barely have enough money to play both of these. Anyway, the onus is really on them to cause the break right now, I think. You're going to play a sponsor? We could take two rep here. Seems like a fine move. I guess it, yeah, like it could be partly, partly denial, but meh. So if I'm guessing their sequence of moves is going to be like, they need to cause the break, then they build size three, then they play animals, then they do a SOS five, a SOS five, and that ends the game. Something like that, roughly. We're a lot of points down. We only have some point catch up here. But like, I, I don't see what else we can do. I think we just have to hope for some more good sponsors and be able to play them. Okay, that's nice actually. That saves us a build action. And that's actually a good, like a decent project. Yo. Not bad either. Definitely better than this right now. Yeah, this is the break. Unless it's a copy, no. And they do get first snap here. So no doubt Sunbear incoming. Uh, I feel like, yeah, Africa release we do not need. It's okay, it's, it's eight, it's like equivalent to eagle, okay. Hydrologist, I would like to snap, but they should take it away. Yeah, they should take it because there's nothing else. Actually, maybe moves interest them a bit. Though I also wouldn't like them to get moose. 
Oh, they're not snapping anything. I'll definitely snap Hydrologist. Ah, uh, Tech Institute wasted. Sad. Yeah, end games are looking good though. Now I'm more interested in, a in Aviary. I think the first move is that we release the, the dude. Don't need X tokens. Uh, Aviary could definitely be... Like how much space do we actually need though? We could play three animals. Uh, 13, 33, 56, we can afford to play all three. Um, we get we get more money here. We could also... This also does... Uh... Oh yeah, I forgot about migration. Oh goodness. Yeah, Av Avery to play Hydro was the, the move I was thinking. Take that. It just means that we can only play two animals, unless we get money from a reward, which we could totally do as well. Yeah, this is getting like to more even points. We definitely release this tiger as well. So next move is like eagle, tiger. How close does this get us? This is another CP here. They're building a size five. They they got the eagle. They they're building eight. Sixteen. Twenty two. Twenty five. Is eighty six. Releasing this is plus 10, 96, 99, it's not enough. Uh, it's just not enough. Wait, we got five money, we can play extra animals. I think we just do go for this giant move unless we just pretend that we don't have an eagle did, did I spend an X oh damn it Could play this and just pretend we don't have the eagle and just end it next turn suddenly, maybe. I don't think we should delay it at all for a four point card. <laughs> well, now it's more interesting. Now it's a lot more interesting. It's a six plus four, it's a ten point move. Yeah, but the issue is I don't want them to support two projects. They're gonna play their P foul and maybe it's an eagle anyway and it doesn't matter. It's a first seal, okay. Yeah, so they have five age and five birds. I think we just end it. We know that they don't have Eagle or Sun Bear now, so just end. Don't let them fill up the map either. I think if we end it, it should be enough. Now I just wish I would have played the Eagle straight away. No, I don't think it's, it's certainly not better than one of their projects at all. 
they have two five CP projects. And there's no way I'm letting them play both. All right, let's remember that. Oh, better than my projects. Uh, no, I don't think so. No, because my project is like plus twenty, uh, plus fourteen, and this would be plus ten. I think that this should be enough. They they can only do a five project and get last worker, so they're getting. Our end games are really solid though. They have one from that. They have arcade. We have maxed out, we win. Yeah, I cannot believe that they put Science Museum in range for us. That seems crazy. That was a that was a long game. That was a long thinking time game as well. My God, that seemed like like the real turning point. Giving a science museum for absolute free, it got us at least five, at least four conservation points plus all this money that we did spend. think snapping hydrologists as well they chose not to snap anything but like we we had these spots open to play money play a sponsor for money so yeah happy with that game yeah i think the difference is like spending an action to snap it up and then play it is is pretty annoying for me like if i give them an extra action i still win i guess but yeah, it saves me a whole cards action. Uh, maybe just one more arc game and we'll call it. Haven't been staying up till 4am very much lately for streams, but kind of fixed my sleep schedule somewhat. Like I'm getting tired at this point now, whereas I wasn't really before. Check out the Azul game. So we did get everything as expected. We have to discard a bit more. But like these are good tiles for us. We are six points down. So, hmm, need to. Th I need to actually think about this move though. Won't think about it just yet, but I like a few of them. Red might just be most contested. Just start with two red. They probably just take two blue though, which is good for both of us. Uh oh. Who let this map into arena? Four hundred and they concede. Diverse is so hit and miss, like on this map again. Always these two. The question is, like, always that, because we can dig that. Oh, 
I don't think we need geological, like we shouldn't need extra projects here. And do we just go for two predators ASAP? Keep that for the continent. Keep the uh, basic research is actually insane on this map. What am I talking about? Let's just do that. That's nice. Why is the special not amazing on this map? Because it doesn't work properly. This is digging map, so basically you cover one of these, you dig something away and you get it's all of its icons into your zoo. So it makes fighting for habitats really stupid. And yeah, we have a way to support two predators very quickly. Don't know if that's what we actually want to do though. Nearly messed that up. Could have dug away raccoon as well. That's a very interesting snipe. I think we play this first. I wouldn't mind doing two predators here because they just did snap a sponsor. I do wish I'd kept geological now, but you can never predict the baboon rock. Yeah, they they, they uh, took a sponsor, so they're, they're just going straight for Habitats 5. I can't stop it at all. I could delay it. We just need to draw from the deck though, I think. It's nice. This could be useful later. I guess Baboon Rock's not coming down. Exiting out build because they want to cause the break. Like, a break is still really good for us, because we have an income advantage, like, as long as we spend our worker. But I don't mind doing Predators at 2 here, I guess. Just more income. Upgrade build. We don't need to play basic research yet. I just like getting the income advantage right now. We also don't need extra cards. Not quite sure what's going on. Maybe I should just cause the break. I have, I have too many good things to play. I'm fine waiting it out and getting a full build upgrade, uh, upgraded build action. Foreign Institute or something. Cable car. Well, that's, oh, that's very nice. I don't mind building a size one in here. Size one could totally be for the raccoon. Yeah, better, better for kiosk placement though. Yeah, kiosk there would have been nicer. Don't actually mind going petting zoo here with the wallaby on display.
<laughs> Just gonna mangle this chaos. But now we do kind of want to get out of the round. God knows what's coming down here. It's going to be an Africa or America animal if I had to guess. <laughs> Already at four rock. And they have Adventure Playground. I think something like X out animals cause the break. Depends what they do with this section. All right, my God. So they already have six rocks. Fantastic. They're going to play their adventure playground, but they have no money, so we can just stay in the round a little bit, play science lab. Okay, that, that's the that's the only card in their hand, guaranteed. Could snap petting zoo and play it. You could snap raccoon. I can totally understand them wanting to play this and they can just take a full cards action. I think we just draw from the deck here. Always get punished for not keeping Baboon Rock. This is at least playable. I don't know that I want to play it though. It's an extra icon, I guess. Maybe I should keep the only playable animal we have. I think when 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 they have zero cards, they should just draw from the deck. I mean, how on earth do you compete with this start though? Like they're gonna get Habitats Five first. Pretty confident on that. They already have Cable Car Endgame, and it's round one. Ridiculous. In, digging wasn't even... Oh, they dug the Ibex, that's why. Did they dig this? They dug this before playing Cable Car. That's pretty nuts. Also, you can't possibly tell me that you have another sponsor you want to play. Yeah, they, they also already have Herbivores too. What are we getting rid of here? Like one, two? Or do we do we keep the one of these to dig? I just don't see a path to us getting. I don't mind causing the break and getting a fourth X token. Something like that, I guess. We have a good basic research coming.
Um, I guess we start partner zoo. It's possible that we could actually win the race to five if they support two herbivores here. Then it's going to be close. I guess they're going to take a worker though. No, they're, they're, they're just going for habitats. They want that raccoon. I guess we kind of want a short round as well, though. I, I don't think it's worth trying to fight th for this. They, okay, they can't get the raccoon yet. If we take this, we can get the raccoon from range. And then do what? I don't know. Oh, they can dig the raccoon. Yeah, whatever. Such a stupid map. They're either not digging or they're not building a size 5. Size 5 is probably for the elephant. They only have two cards in hand. You have the wallaby. This is an this is a planned empty petting zoo. Go on, dig it away, or dig away the reindeer. Doesn't matter. Yeah, you get the one that gives you a herbivore, I guess. Now you can yeah play the moose as well. I, just, I don't understand how this is fun for anyone to play. Like, what's the skill in digging up two animals? What, what, what's the, what's exactly the counter to this as well, by the way? Is better than Hollywood Hills, as in less less RNG. Definitely more RNG. What is my path to victory here? Draw randomly and hope to hit something amazing. Don't let them cause the break. It doesn't even matter. I have so many X tokens. Dig away the elephant, then we can play the moose soon. And flock it into nothing. Digging away the elephant seems like the right answer anyway. We can also draw the raccoon while we're here. It's going to be useful later. Okay, Explorer is pretty interesting. Not even worth it as a kiosk spot.
Then a snap lion. Hmm. This could be a really sick explorer, but it means Moose dies. If we, uh, we could actually just play the raccoon, whatever. Make them cause the break. Don't know what playing raccoon does for us. The only thing it lets us do is keep a card. All oh, right, they're taking the line away, so I don't get it. Fair enough. You gonna play your wallaby, or are you gonna cause a break? If we dig something else up, we could get like a four CP basic research. We'll snap up Explorer here, I think. Just our first move, get second uni, upgrade sponsors and animals. Don't mind spending the X tokens because we get two back anyway from Tech Institute. Um, they have a 10 point lead plus they're supporting a project first. So they have roughly a 20 point lead, but we have slightly more money. I guess we're going to catch up some of it here. Well, the problem is we have so much money. We're getting a lot of money from here, but not a lot of points. They also basically already have four herbivores as well. Dude, I think taking away the X tokens is a pretty big mistake though. Like, they are useless for me right now. They don't have Asia partners, do Okay. Just play Explorer first, build a... I want to start playing some expensive animals because we do have so much money. So I want to build a size 4 for this guy. And we can play him and build a pavilion and still play basic research. They can use their work, that's fine. Right, I guess the problem with them taking times two is I had that many X tokens I could just cause the break, but it's not that good for me. Should actually be kind of careful where I put stuff now before we go destroying every bit of room that we have. This could be kind of useful. It doesn't put this in range though. It's like a release candidate for later. Please, please, please take one card. Yes, take one, take migration. Okay, yes, take that. 
Why do you want that? It's a small break being able to play this. Oh, explore a goat. <laughs> so bad. That's looking playable. All right, the issue is we can't play this without going over basic research because of Explorer. Thank you, Explorer. Just feel like spending everything playing migration and basic research down, even though it's only three CP. Now it means we also miss out on the times two right now, but it does mean that we can play animals before the break if they let us. We just take money. Migration we can definitely use with this release project in hand already. And goals. Diverse not looking that bad right now. I, the thing is that I telegraphed grabbing the monkey, so like if I play the monkey then undo my action, it gives away that I don't have anything else here, so I think at that point I just had to snap it up. They should definitely cause the break. Uh, they don't have snapping, so we can now play 1 and 2 from range. Flock this into nothing. Now, if you play animals, that's fine, because I, I do want to play this guy. Basically, the longer the round right now, the better for me. So up to two predators, and they potentially still have lion in their hand. There's spotted hyena compound here, which I sh Actually, I don't know that I am that scared of it, because if they play it, it kind of ruins their map. It is a rock icon as well, though. Let's play this guy. Anyway, points, we're sort of caught up a little bit. Just draw three. Okay. This is playable, maybe we just don't worry about you. Release something else, but we can release this for a we can release this and then play the release, release into release. Really? You want to build right now? You want to dig up that? Yeah, okay. Definitely don't mind building here. Could look at targeting you. That is a rock icon. Should be a little bit concerned. Uh, Spotted Hyena combat is not even playable now for them. So don't have to worry about that at all.
do we want to dig anything away and does it help us? Could dig away you, but why? Save, save the dig. Uh, the, I don't know. Um, release is still playable if we build a pavilion. Could also play, uh, no, we can't play this. It's fine, release into release. And we take snapping first and snap up the rock. This will also give us enough reputation for a second worker. Not even convinced that we get partner zoos here. I think we also take size 3 reward because we, we don't need to play sponsor for money. Could play vet from range, but size 3 is better for them as well, I guess. Gotta be careful that I do have room for big enclosures left. Anyway, not bad. We've uh, caught up on points now. We have more money. Hello. SOS 9. It's a good use of X tokens. Yeah, 4 over 4 is that's the main problem. I guess we should have time to grab Asia Partner Zoo at least. Make this guy playable. Take snapping, probably gonna snap it up, let's be real. No bet, okay. Makes sense. Gives us mon money. Guess we're keeping diverse, we're not keeping aquatic. Just wish this wasn't capped. Uh, we should definitely spend two X's to play this as well and get it the hell away from them. I don't need to give them four points and a massive amount of income for free. Uh, it also puts this monkey in range for us, but we can't play it yet. They don't have your partner zoo, okay. Uh, this puts the monkey in range for them, but they can't play it either. That's insanely good, but we can't play it. Um, we, we're not sunbathing anything, but... And we're actually even in points right now and money. Just down in, down in one upgrade. How are our end games looking? Let's 
Can't play him just yet, but we're about to get Asia partner zoo. Can't play what? I think you might be behind Maru. <laughs> bird was twenty five points. What bird? Draw from the deck. Not exactly what we wanted. Well, first petting is actually not bad for our Explorer as well, and diverse potentially. It does finish this end game as well. Sea Turtle Tank, what? Why? They don't have a project to do. He can't even fit the tiger now. This is crazy. He can't fit any big animal. I mean, it's infinitely better for him to snap the tiger. I'm pretty sure I'm just digging it away right now. <laughs> I'm so confused by the potential sea turtle tank move. Like, he, I get that he wants to fill his zoo, but... We, we, have, we do have to dig away the tiger here. Even a size 5 just for some potential large animal. We still have Avery room over here. Just, just leave. Breaks fine. See what they decide to snap. Like, I would love uh, an Asia elephant right now. Can't get the African, African one. You don't want that. Damn it. Oh, that would have been so good. We can play this from range, so... <sighs> Snap the flocking one that doesn't require an enclosure. This is playable, but... I mean, he, he, guy got rewarded anyway. Just snaps the elephant, and now won't play sea turtle tank, so won't get won't get baited into playing sea turtle tank. Uh, we do get to double pilfer, which could actually be pretty big. Like, I would be fine with cards here to get the potential of the elephant, but also money does hurt him quite a bit. Only like a couple of empty enclosures. Uh, also feel like I should just take the wombat out of range. Just get rid of it. We have so much money anyway, and I, I don't mind digging victory column, uh, pouching victory column here. What can you release? Could also, yeah, we can release the monkey. This is looking good. We release the monkey. I don't think we have time to be playing victory column. 
like actually I could just play it right now. Play it right now with Science Institute. <laughs> Draw one thing away, I dare you. <laughs> Draw one thing away, I dare you. So this could be a repeat of last match. Animals. You're going to get Science Museum. Wait, what can you even play? If you build a size 3, that's sus. What do you mean it's not? There's a science institute right there and I have tech inst It's like the exact same scenario as last game. It, it means I can get a 3 CP university here. Yeah, take it away. Whatever. Kill my hopes and dreams. Third, third uni is also good for them because of vet though. Dude, they're actually close kind of close to crossing. So the question is, do we have time to play one, two? I think we take this away anyway, just to... Actually, do I mind them spending a turn just to get two CP? Does it do anything for us? It gives us some money and lets us play this for like three points really whereas i could unlock size twos cover this could just also i don't we don't need to cause the break at all though i think we still have time to stick around in this round for a little bit Maybe, yeah. It's highly possible. It's just denial. But, I mean, the third uni is good for them, and they do have uh, a source upgraded. Okay, these pack animals are pretty sick. Makes sense. Makes sense. They still have the lion. They, they, they don't have time to do all of this, though. This puts the dingo in range for them, which I assume they're going to grab. Dingo's okay, they can do what? They just grabbed Dingo and Stoat. They probably play Stoat Dingo. Maybe they do have time to do all this. They need a size 3 and a size 4. They play Pack and Lion. But I think that ends the game. I don't believe he has a good project. Not doing Dingo in size 5. I know that he wants to play the Dingo now, I just can't get rid of it. Unless I spend an X to snap it up, but that just seems worse. Yeah, holy crap. Can't get it yet. Worker lets us support another project this round. We want a longer round. Money doesn't matter, so we'll do the one next to rock as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm now fully aware of this geologist that needs to be taken away.
I'm, I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm fairly confident they can't get it here unless they play Veiled Chameleon, but they're not going. So I actually have to spend a turn snapping this up, but it's not the worst for us. Okay, they nearly got it. To Piers, interesting. They're just planning on... I don't know how they're planning on ending. Dude, I'm not letting you get this. Do they cause the break and do I mind if they cause the break? Oh, that they want to fill their zoo. Oh no. Game's already pretty cursed. Need more releases. They're probably about to release, release take size two. Can't stop it. Yeah, wait, what's with the aviary though? Release take size two, play an eagle with the last project. I hate this map so much. Rep does not matter, let's just play some animals. What I really need now is just like, do I actually just boost cards? No, I got projects to do. Well, it's just the unit that they're going to play Science Museum. Please reveal an animal for me. Please reveal a big animal. They should know my hand is only geologist. Which is not even give, giving us an end game right now. I don't really find it sus. It just basically tells me that they, well, like they're already telling me they have an eagle. Dude, victory column paying off. How do I get that in range? So what's their end game sequence of building, yeah, building two to fill map. I'd, I'd have to build another size five here, but.
Are we just taking a shot in the dark cards action? I don't really see what else we can do. We can play Geologist. But like they've filled their map, they're about to play Eagle plus Project. Their end games are eight. We have not that. We have that. <laughs> yeah, there's not even an, an elephant coming. Problem is, I think even drawing just doesn't do anything for us. Well, I guess Geologist just really doesn't do enough for us. So really no choice left but to draw and get something. It's actually pretty good. It's not going to win us the game, but it's not bad. Even an eagle wouldn't do it. <laughs> You're going to delay it another round? That's quite a dangerous thing to play when I have migration. I have nothing else to do. Let's see your giant final turn. There's one, do you have both? Into what Asia release? Into large animals? No. Into primate breeding? No. Into cards five, all right. Into spending an extra X for that. Like, this is probably a win if I just find a single big animal to play here. Just really sick of this map. Small animals, though. only 14 points GG we are ending the stream there I'm getting tired and grumpy
not a particularly good day, but never really expected to win that game. The dog lover game against the top five player. The first arc game. I don't remember the first arc game. This one we were behind. I think we should have lost that as well. This was not this was not a particularly easy match. My opponent was inexperienced though. Anyway, next week we'll play some Federation as well as maybe another Obsession. I'll give it another go. I've got to play some more turn-based and get used to it still. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. <laughs> yes, now I remember the first game revealed the Predator breeding program for them. Lovely. Yeah, thanks all. See you next week. Have a good rest of the day.